Hi everybody, it's Linda. I am back to show you two new little junk journals that I created and I am excited to show these to you. They are very sweet and nostalgic. They kind of speak to your inner little girl and the theme is vintage strawberries and kind of specifically strawberry shortcake. So these were such fun to make. So let's take a look. I have two. If you're seeing this, that means that they are already listed in my Etsy shop, Joyful Makes and Finds. So you are welcome. There'll be a, a link to them in the description box if you want to go over and take a look. They are nearly identical, but I will go through both of them. And I'm going to start with one. It is what I call my little cutie journals, which means they are fashioned from a paper bag. They measure about four to five inches by six inches. So about six inches tall by about somewhere between four and a half and just under five inches wide. They are covered in fabric and sewn, hand sewn, the covers, yet the covers are, are pretty soft. I reinforced the spine with Tyvek. They each have one signature with 30 pages or 60 sides, actually 62 sides if you count the front and back covers. On the front here, I used a sweet vintage seersucker type of strawberry shortcake fabric. And I'm also going to list some of this fabric in my shop as... Um, fat quarters. So look for that to be coming. I have some strawberry themed items that I'm going to list in my shop that will complement these and also um, help you out if you're looking to make your own strawberry shortcake or just strawberry themed journals or items. So on the cover here, I used a sweet little hand crocheted flower shaped doily and I put, it's a little bronze or antique gold little brooch pin. And I made a pearl dangle, this really fun little glass bead. And then there is a metal enamel strawberry on there as well. I added this trim. This was from a vintage dish towel that I had. And it is closed with gold eyelets, and some gingham ribbon. Okay, so let's take a look inside. I used some gingham fabric for the pockets on this one, some fabric pockets. And this is, um, I put this little strawberry shortcake playing card in here to remind me that this is journal number one, or A. It's actually listed as journal number one in my shop. And in the front cover is this little note card that I made. And it has um, some strawberry trim and a vintage image that I had uh, in my stash. And then you can see that I lined the inside of the paper bag as well with the vintage strawberry shortcake fabric. Okay, and then there's some vintage trim here, creating a little tuck spot. And I made a master board that I cut into journal cards and tags for the journals, and this is one. I didn't. I tried not to add too much of the strawberry shortcake theme stuff in there, just so it can be used as a summer journal or just a strawberry theme. So this is one of them. It says Create Joy. This is from a digital that I will credit in the description box. Here is a little strawberry shortcake image tag that I made with some fun, a fun topper from some vintage strawberry fabric. This is a digital and I handmade some little strawberries that I used, little paper strawberries that I used throughout the journal. Those were fun to make. Coffee dyed paper, some fun scrapbook scrapbooking paper. 
This is a little cascading notebook that I made that removes with, it's just held on with a paper clip, vintage matte paper, another scrapbook paper. This is a belly band that I made using little pieces of the different scrapbooking papers that I use throughout the journal. This here is a digital. And then this is one of the little master board journaling cards. This is a glassine bag that I covered with a vintage strawberry shortcake napkin. And I put finders keepers there. Inside I just tucked a coffee dyed index card for journaling. This is some vintage music paper. I love the sheen, the pearly sheen on the back of this scrapbook paper, so I, I left it. I thought it was really, really pretty and added a, a fun texture. Then just a bit of washi. This is an old scrapbook paper. Both of these are from my stash. I thought they went well with the theme. This is yet another fun um, scrapbook paper from my stash with some strawberries and another little strawberry shortcake tag with a fabric topper. You know, my, my inner little girl was singing while I was making these journals. It was just dear. This is my signature tea bag with some strawberry burst tea inside. And I beaded the edge. And this is a fun, I believe it was like a little popcorn holder from the Dollar Tree and I just cut it and made it into a pocket. Okay. Some vintage ledger. This is the center and I used a doily in the sweet scrapbooking paper. And then attached to the signature ties are some really sweet beads and charms that I thought were just really fun and added to the theme here. Okay, some splattered paper from a digital. This is a fabric flip that I created using two of the fabrics and some of the trim and then this little bulb pin that says handmade with love. This is a vintage strawberry shortcake recipe. Here's a little tag that I created from the master board. And then this tuck is goes on both sides. It was a little note card that I made a two-way tuck. It's got this beautiful gold paper and uh, strawberry. And then I tucked in one of the journal cards from the master board. On this side is a fabric ruffle. And this page here has another tag with topper and a fun strawberry shortcake image. I used uh, actually the first two junk journals that I ever made had a strawberry theme and I used a vintage book called Strawberry Girl. So I still have some of the pages from those books that I used. So I used them as backing for some of the ephemera in these journals, and that was fun. Okay. And then this page has a multi-folded pocket 
which I created from one of the pages in that Strawberry Girl book. And tucked inside is a note page that says focus on the good for journaling. There's lots of pockets in this page. They don't all have something in them here. I think that's a five-way pocket actually. And then this fun little vintage blueberry muffin who was one of Strawberry Shortcake's little buddies. Little journaling card there. This is a Strawberry Shortcake playing card and some tickets. And then in the last page here, is the gingham fabric pocket and I tucked in a recipe card that's got strawberries on it. And then as you can see, this is the very back page and the opening of the paper bag. And I lined it and sewed it so it's pretty sturdy. And inside is a letter from me in this handmade envelope. So this is Strawberry Shortcake Journal number one. Let's look through number two. Just a few differences, not many. Here's one of the differences. I used a vintage pillowcase for the pocket front and back pocket on, on this particular journal. Very happy patchwork fabric. It's got the note card. And it's got the playing card with the, with the number two, so I remember that this is journal two because they are so close. Okay. And then since the master boards are different because they're collaged, all of the journal cards will be similar, but with, you know, different patterns of paper on the front of them. Some fun vintage eyelet. Just try to point out what's different here. This is that notebook, cascading notebook. belly band with the journaling card. The decoupaged um, glassine envelope. Strawberry shortcake recipe card. Strawberry Shortcake really wasn't around when I was a little girl. If she had been, I would have loved her. She came around a little bit later in the 1980s. I was already grown up by that time, but I was a fan of Raggedy Ann. She was my, she was my girl when I was grown up, and I also loved the uh, Betsy Clark images that were sold at Hallmark also. That was another one of my favorites. But I I did really like Strawberry Shortcake when she came out. It, she, she was, I just wasn't at that little, little girl phase anymore. Although I would be what you could consider, I'm a grandma now, but I think I'm still a little girl in my heart. I don't know that I ever really stopped loving all of these little sweet things that the little girls love. Okay. I 
I've tried through the years to make some of my art and some of the things that I make a little edgier or maybe grungy or whatever, and they always end up being cute. <laughs> I have always had trouble getting away from cute. So I have figured out to just embrace it and go with it because honestly, that's probably just who I am. I like things that are happy and cute. And making things that are that are sweet and happy and cute and nostalgic, I think is what makes me happy. So I've just learned to embrace it. So this one is Raspberry Tart, who is another one of Strawberry Shortcake's buddies. Okay. And the last pocket with the recipe card. And then a letter from me in the very last pocket. So this is Vintage Strawberry Shortcake Journal number two. If there are any other um, forever little girls out there, hopefully this will um, sing, make your heart sing as well, and remind you of happier, sweeter times. And if you are interested in seeing more about these journals, they are in my Etsy shop, Joyful Makes and Finds. I also have a whole lot of new products and items, vintage items, as well as journal making things that are going to be making their way into my shop over the next week or so. If I can make force myself to take a little break from the journal making long enough to do the photography and the listings, they will be coming. And I was actually thinking I might do my own little Etsy share and show you on camera some of the new things I'm putting in there because I'm just kind of that excited about it. So anyway, thank you for taking a few minutes to take a peek at these journals. I hope they made you smile. And I will just see you very soon, I hope. Bye-bye now.